It's two minutes to midnight. I'm the Har. Welcome to Who Watches the Watchmen, a recap show focusing on the new HBO original series, Watchmen. Also, we're going to talk about Rev's HBO Go promotion for the month of October. But we'll come back to that a little later. Producer, roll the title. All right, let's talk about the Watchmen comic. Because a story this intense is anything but comical, it's the brainchild of the legendary comic book writer Alan Moore, with the art of David Gibson and colorist John Hicks. It was published by DC Comics in 1986 through 1987. The story of Watchmen depicts an alternate history where superheroes emerge in the 1940s and 60s, and their presence changed everything in history significantly. The heroes aren't the overpowered heroes that grace our movie screens today, but mostly regular humans, except for Dr. Manhattan, who is a floating lithium battery that refuses, refuses to put on pants. The rest of the Watchmen use their brain power, math, and fists to solve their problems. And there's a lot of fists going on, let me tell y'all. So here's the catch. Think of golden age comic heroes with no powers and even less of that impenetrable morality that we assume of people with power. Looking at you, Superman. Decades later, it was adapted to a film by director Zack Snyder and released in 2009. Somewhat faithful to the source material, it's a dark and gritty take on the superhero genre. What if powerful people are just as flawed as the rest of us? They just have personal styles to pick their various looks. There's no way you are telling me that Alexander got that cool headgear from Amazon. Set in the year 1985, at the height of the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union, as a group of mostly retired superheroes investigates the murder of one of their own before uncovering an elaborate and deadly conspiracy. But who are the Watchmen? Let's talk about the main characters from the book. Rorschach, Night Owl, Silk Spectre, Dr. Manhattan, the naked guy, Alexander Ozymandias, and the comedian. In the show, we know that we're going to see Dr. Manhattan, the former Silk Spectre, and former hero slash villain Ozymandias. That's probably it unless there is a flashback and the reason is. The series takes place in an alternate contemporary reality in the United States, in which superheroes and mass vigilantes were outlawed due to their violent methods. But some of them gather around to start a revolution while others attempt to stop it. And because it takes place years and years after the whole squid thing, maybe there is no calamari in this world. Who knows? For certain we know the series will also focus on a detective named Angelica Abar who becomes a vigilante called Sister Knight. There's gonna be a wonderful cast starring Regina King, Don Johnson, Tim Blake Nielsen, Regina King, Louis Gossip Jr., Jeremy Irons, Regina King, Yahya Abdul II, and Regina King. HBO has a lot of- No, 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 by present wishes. Present wishes. HBO has a lot of hit original series adapted from books, be it from shows like Game of Thrones that build a massive following worldwide. So we'll see if Watchmen brings that adult content and cult-like following from the comic book series. With a strong cast and snippets from the trailer, it looks like it's going to be a surprise around every corner type of show. And what if you want to watch this and all the other great HBO movies, shows, and content over the years? Then it sounds like you need HBO Go. Now how can you watch it? Well. Luckily, there is a free HBO preview weekend this weekend, so you will be able to see the premiere. And once you see the show and all the other things that are on HBO, you're going to want to call 601-8992 to find out how you can get HBO as well as the HBO Go app, so you can watch HBO shows anywhere. Man, into all that now.